Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss a gate problem in DSA. The problem is raised in gate CSE 2023. Which one of the following sequence when stored in an array at locations A1 to A10 forms a max heap? And they have given four options. So, max heap, if you are considering in the sense, there are two properties. One is it should be a binary tree. So, binary tree is nothing but one root node should be there and two child nodes should be there. That is left child and right child and this is the root node. So, max heap in the sense it should be a binary tree. Okay. And the parent node if you are considering that is the root node if you are considering in the sense it should consist of a maximum value that is the highest value compared to the child nodes. That is nothing but the max heap. If it is a min heap in the sense the root node should contain a minimum value compared to the child nodes. That is the property. So, max heap in the sense it should be a binary tree. Root node should consist of an element greater than the child nodes. That is compared to left child and right child. So, these two properties if it have in the sense that is a max heap data structure. Okay. So, now we will consider these four options. So, for all these four options, we will construct a binary tree and we will check out whether it is a max heap or not. So, any binary tree, if you are considering in the sense, the first node will consist of a root node. This will occupy the first position, that is A of 1. And second, if you are considering in the sense, A of 2. Third node, A of 3 position. Likewise, up to A of 10 position, it will occupy the memory space. Okay, so according to that, we will construct the binary tree now. So, first option if you are considering in the sense, 23 will occupy A of 1 position and then left child is 17 and its right child, this is A of 1 and its right child if you are considering in the sense, it is 10. And the next element if you are considering in the sense, it will occupy a space from left to right in binary tree form. So, binary tree form in the sense each node will consist of a left child and right child. So, in that order we have to construct the binary tree. So, next is 6 and 13. So, 6 will occupy the left child of 17 and 13 will occupy the right child of 17. Okay. And then 14, 1. 14. Similarly, we have to construct the complete binary tree. Next up. So, now this level is 4. So, this is 1 node and second level if you are considering 2 nodes, third level 4 nodes and fourth level if you are considering in the sense that is 8 nodes. Okay. So, likewise we need to construct then 5 and then 7 and then 12. Okay. So, this is a binary tree and remaining nodes they have not given. Now, we have constructed the binary tree and we have to check it whether it is a max p or not. Okay, so what is the max key property? It should be a binary tree that is each node should consist of 0, 1 or max 2 nodes that is the left and right child. That is the binary tree. Okay, and the second property if you are considering in the sense, the root node should consist of an element greater than the child nodes. Okay, so maximum element should present in the root node compared to the child nodes. So, first we will check it. This is 23 and child node is 17 and 10. So, this is okay. Next, left child if you are checking, this is 17 and its child nodes are 6 and 13. Yes, this is also correct. So, root node consists of maximum element only. And next, if you are considering the node 6 in the sense, the left child is 5, right child is 7. So, 7 if you are considering, it is greater than 6. So, this node does not possess the property of max key. Okay, and this node if you are considering, 13 is the root node and 12 is the child node. Yes, this is also a max heap. And 10, if you are considering, this is 14. Left child is 14, which is greater than 10. Okay. So, this node also does not possess the property of max heap. Okay. So, obviously, option A is wrong. Okay. Next, we will check for option B. So, option B, if you are considering 23. And left node is 17, right node is 14, and next is 7, 13, 7, 13, and then 10, 1, 10, 
one and then five six twelve five six and then twelve okay so now we have constructed the binary tree for option b now we will check whether it is a max heap or not okay so max heap in the sense a root node should consist of an element greater than the child nodes so root node if you are checking it is 23 and child nodes are 17 and 14 yes this poses the max heap property and next left child if you are checking 17 and the child nodes are 7 and 13 yes and next it's left child 7 and child nodes are 5 and 6 yes and next this is 13 root node is 13 left child is 12 yes and right child if you are checking in the sense this is 14 and the child nodes are 10 and 1 yes this is correct option okay so option b if you are checking it completely possesses the property of max key for clarity we will check c and d also okay next option c if you are checking in the sense 23 70 root node is 23 and left child is 17 and 14 okay and next 6 13 10 1 okay 6 13 10 1 okay and 5 7 15 and this is 5 7 and 14 okay so now we have constructed the binary tree we will check whether it possesses the property of max heap or not. so root node is 23 child nodes are 17 and 14 yes and this root node is 17 and child nodes are 6 and 13 yes this is also true and the root node is 6 and here the child node is 7 this is wrong okay and here also if you are considering root node is 13 and child node is 15 this is also wrong and this is correct the root node is 14 and the child nodes are 10 and 1 so obviously here it does not possess the property of max heap so option c is wrong next we will check for option d so option d if you are considering root node is 23 and child node is 14 and 17 14 17 next level if you are considering 1 10 13 and 16 this is 1 10 13 and 16 this is 13 okay and next is 12 7 5 this is 12 7 and 5 so now we have constructed the binary tree. Check the property of max heap. Root node is 23, child node is 14 and 17. Yes, this is true. And root node is 14, child node is 1 and 10. This is true. And root node is 1, child node is 12 and 7. This is wrong. Okay, this does not possess the property of max heap. And here root node is 10, child node is 5. Yes, root node is 17, child node is 13, 13 and 16. Yes, this is also true. But here, if you are considering, here it does not possess the property of max scheme. So, completely if you are checking, all the root node elements is greater than or equal to the child node in the sense, that is option B. So, the correct option if you are considering in the sense, that is option B. Thank you for watching this video.